Hello guys and welcome to Headset VR and today we are playing a new game that has only just come out well I believe it's actually in early access at the moment it's called Outlier now if you ever ever played Stride or Against this is made by the same team of developers called Joyway now I've literally only just started the game and it looks like quite a quite a pretty world from what I can see. And we've got full oh, what was that? Full hand tracking, head tracking. Now the only thing is that it's not actually let me change any of the locomotion options. Like I say, it is still in early access. But I've got some pretty trendy gloves. There's the map. Now I'm not sure if you can see my health bar. I was looking at the screen just and I couldn't see my health bar. Okay, but... Yeah, it's a, a sci-fi roguelike game. Now, it's given me a little bit of an intro of the style, a little bit of training, as such. But I've skipped all that, because who wants to see training? What we want to see is the game in action. So, I've just cleared a few enemies. I'm literally just going to dive straight in now. And see what the hell happens. Okay, like I say, it's a roguelike first person shooter, I'm gathering. I can't see no enemies around here. Aha. Be that another weapon. Whoa! That's a bit cheeky. I've pinched your weapon. No. Whoa. Whoa, he hurts. Whoa, he killed. Don't be afraid. I've managed to save you. Well, not all pots, only the best. Just your brain, to be precise. However. It's enough to control your newly bioprinted body. By the way, analysis of planet artifacts we've managed to collect discovered some interesting energy. I think you can use it to your advantage. Let's begin with another simulation before you land. Okay, so, yep, yeah, I've died the first time. Ooh, another simulator. Oh. Now, it's the only thing I've got an issue with is it doesn't let me smooth turn so that means that I've got to keep turning and use because I've got okay so I'm using Oculus Quest 2 link cable to a PC so if I have to keep turning I could potentially end up wrapping the wire around my leg to dash push yourself with your hand while holding A and releasing it at the end of the movement just as if you're pulling yourself up by grabbing the air to maneuver in the air don't forget to use the left stick. So press A, pull your hand sharply. What? Press A and pull your hand sharply. Where's the button to dash in any direction? Okay, so... Well, that seems to be make me fly. Well, that's one way of doing it. I don't get it. You can dash in any direction. Up, down, or sideways. 
but I want to dash forwards. All that does is make me move backwards. No, I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. Can we not, you know, forget all these silly mechanics and just go into the game instead of trying to do an over-simulated or an over-technical fucking ability? You know, if you want to dash, just like press down on the stick or something, or just press the A button. <sighs> yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> Let's see how button. Um, oh, settings. Yay! Oh, okay, so that's on the B button. I can't see it, like, every time I step forward, it moves further fucking away. That's a bit. I am poorly hand sharply.
You can grab a ledge after a dash, if the strength of the dash itself was not enough to jump on it. I think I'm gonna miss. <laughs> okay, that, I don't... I don't think they really need to do these so fucking technical. Just make it nice and simple. Make it nice and simple. both again. Fucking asshole. <sighs> Can I double jump? No. Well, I don't really want to do a short video when all I'm doing is this. Can we like not skip this training, please? I'll be honest. I was looking forward to Stride when that came out and then you have mechanics and all this in it and it's don't really find it immersive, I find it too challenging to traverse the areas. So you don't want it to be too challenging to move around. It makes you just not want to play it because it's... Do you know what I mean? That, that's, back, that's just backwards. All I'm doing is going backwards. I don't want I don't want challenging movement. I'd rather just be really sick. So I do apologize, Joy Bye. <sighs> but I don't think you make it easy for people to lock the game. To activate an object, grab it and then hold the trigger for a few seconds. By default, you can only make one dash. However, you can unlock consecutive dashes by grabbing special buffs. Can't I just have sprint instead? Please, proceed to the portal. Use telekinesis on an object. Reach out to that object and hold the grab button when the visual indicator appears. To pull an object, pull your hands back while holding the grab button. To throw an object, make a throwing motion in the desired direction and release the button. Tools, back to game. Oh, oh I see. There was all gone, was it? Some strange essence after death. Maybe it will be useful.
think I'd rather have had the gun. Eat that, mate. Whoa. There's another one around here somewhere. This is fine. Whoa, that's a bit cheeky. For the eyes. No. Timbers and damage we are not touching the ground. Increases your crit chance by four percent doesn't stack with itself. Let's take that, shall we? So I'm getting the hang of this a little bit now. Where are you, fuckface? Woo! <laughs> okay, so this is a little bit more interesting when you get the gist of it. Seems like you're stuck too. Gotcha. Ha 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 ha. Make sure you're dead. Stuck. <laughs> and you're dead. Well, you are now. Okay, so. Oh, there's a pig coming. Let's have a little look around here first. Controls all that for us. Oh. oh, can't say I'm overly fond of how the controls work, but hey, they are what they are. Yeah, 
Increases damage 4% per each true shot up to 10 times. I don't know about this, so we're just going to attack the gun, I think. Whoa! That got a bit challenging. Have you tried another way, or you keep shooting? Huh. Your new body has turned out to be too fragile. Using collected materials, we can configure the bioprinter. Let's upgrade your systems. Oh, more tutorials. Okay, so this seems like a decent game once you get going. But the tutorials can be a little bit. <sighs> to dash, push yourself with your hand while holding A and releasing it at the end of the movement, just as if you are pulling yourself up by grabbing the air. To maneuver in, you can dash in any direction, up, down, or sideways. Oh, can I not exit the tutorial actually? I've uh, changed my mind. Yep, I don't want to do this tutorial. Bye. Yep, I don't need to do this. I've had enough of tutorials. For the door. Sorry, Captain. Return to your printer zone and upgrade your body. Well, maybe I'll do the lock. Nice. You can find more materials on the planet. Just try to bring back something new. Okay. So it's getting a little bit better. Where we're going this time. Welcome to the training grounds. Using terminals, you can choose unlocked items to spawn on the pedestal. Grab them and try them out on the chosen enemies. Using dark matter that you have collected on the planet, you can upgrade your weapons, gems, and personal stats. Oh. I guess that we are going that way. Oh. Um.
so yeah, it's a little bit better once you get the gist of it. I mean, I'm not not fond of the mechanics. Okay, so yeah, I'm bored of that now. Um, can we just go through now? Yeah, there we go. So now I can go through. Cool. Back to playing. That's all we want to see. Shooting stuff. If it's worth actually getting the game. Oh, you shit. beams. Oh, where many of these fucking things have we got? Shit, how many of you are there? That's a bit unfair. It's around here somewhere. Okay. My nail got smooth turning in. It's a little bit easier. Here behind me. Where have the bloody gone to? Oh, there he is. Whoa! Whoa. 
It can get quite challenging, this can, actually. Let's see if we can shoot him from here. No chances. Them robots are a nuisance. I'll be completely fucking honest. I wish there was something that could increase your health back up. Check it out. Oh, hang on. This is a boss again, isn't it? to survive all that. Oh, have I? Oh, he's gone. Could do with something that give me health back, to be honest. There's a single health pickup in the game. Oh, has he killed me? Oh. Why do you do it? Why do you persist? Because it's a game and it's fun. Okay, so we've got. Further fall. Health augmentation. Maximum HP. Can't allow any more. I don't shoot him. What have I got for shooting? Yeah, it's up increased his strides maximum ammo. No, don't want to buy this. What's that? Oh, it's like whether I can afford them or not. To dash, push yourself with your. Yeah, whatever. We know how to dash. Okay, so that's gonna have to do then. It's 
So, oh. What now? More tutorials. Oh, look at my health now. More tutorials. Oh, give us the gun. Can we go through now? Yes, we can. I don't like it forces true tools on you, but I suppose it's just trying to teach you the game, which is, well, whatever you want, really. Oh. Oh, I had to walk then, because my lights were going out. Don't have to play in the dark. Right, so. Well, I've got a bit more health this time. Oh. Start somewhere else. Eat that, mate. Right, so seems we've got a different starting location. Oh. 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 Somebody's my pistol sign over that side. Okay, so what have we got here? Let's go. Oh. It, it is a funky mechanic, honestly. It really is. Oh, what have we got? Guns, 15 armor. Doesn't stack with itself. Oh, yeah, I might take the 15 armor. Increase your movement speed by thirty percent. Use carefully it doesn't stack with itself. Oh, hang on. You know what? I think I'll take the armor. Pretty much a shit throw, yeah. Whoops. 
Got you that time. Right. So we've had a bit of a demo of, of how the game works. Well, I'll just, uh. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, little shit. Okay. So let's get to this part. I think my next death. Got him. Can I get him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Whoop. Ah. Oh. Okay. As I say, Nick. Ooh. That was lucky. Yo. You're a good shot from down there, mate. But anyway. Is he bugged out? Yep, I think he's bugged out. Well, there's some pretty decent locations in here, really. Like, as well. Oh, shit, there's another one in the ground. There's some pretty decent graphics. I mean, you know. Oh, okay. I've got shit over there. See that? Oh. I do not chicken him off the edge with that. <laughs> right. Whoa. Increase your crit chance by 40% doesn't stack with itself. One more sequential dash in there. Ooh. Right. Okay, so. This is all the stats at the moment. Dash count too. Okay. Right, well, this seems like it could actually be quite a lot of fun. It is sort of challenging as well. It's It doesn't run perfectly, you know. It runs pretty decent. There's perhaps maybe a couple of glitches, but, I mean, that jumping system is just awful. But, you know, you get used to it, and you get better at it. Let's try a double jump, shall we? Okay, so you can only do two jumps. Right, so let's... This is really, you just gotta kinda of lunge it really, haven't you? And it's the way you the way you go in. I mean you can take advantage of that. Oh, did I just take fall out it? I hope not. No, that's good. Don't take fall damage. Okay. Oh. I'm near that blue beam. Right. We're going to go and have a look at the blue beam. Oh. It's another one. Enhanced flow. Hee 
Whoa, shit. with it sees keep moving That was actually a good little shoes out. And I think I'm going to end the video here. This does look like a good game. You know, you need to stick with it. I'm not sure what other things you've brought into it. You've got them powers. I prefer these. <laughs> That's good fun. Jumping about and shooting. Yep. But yeah, it does seem like a pretty decent game. I mean, so far, from what I've played, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. It is an early access. But, you know, it's the prolific joy way yet again. Although that jump mechanic does leave a little bit to be, de to be desired. But, you know, you get used to it. I have seen other people say that, you get used to it. But, you know, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll probably come back and carry on playing here, see what happens like. But other than that, I've had good fun. I've had good fun. Frustration at the start, but it does get better and get better and get better. Hopefully the same happens with the game. And, um, well, yeah. I haven't got me. I haven't got thumbs though. Ah, oh, damn disappointment. Okay, there, there's, there's one thing that's immersion breaking. Press the triggers. Whole hand goes. Well, yeah. All well, the grips and whole hand goes. Anyway, never mind. Okay. Well, yeah. This has been Headset VR playing uh, Outlier, a VR game from developers of Stride and Against called Joyway. And uh, yeah, well, you know, it's in early access on Steam. Get it while you can. And um, other than that, if you do enjoy what you've seen so far, like, subscribe, any comments will be answered. Excuse me. And uh, I am. Oh, what's that up there? Before we go. Oh, <laughs> straight over. Right. Oh, that does look. That does look quite interesting. Right, anyway, this has been Headset VR, playing Outlier in VR on a PC, using a Quest 2 with a link cable. Like I said, like, subscribe if you want to see more content. Other than that, any comments will be responded to. But we'll see you pretty soon. Other than that, stay frosted. Take care, guys.